Welcome to another one of my high budget videos on the GVG control and the ATM switcher. In this particular video we're actually using uh, ATM TVS which is the baby of the family. Um, there it is, that's the software control panel there and again we're using the GVG 110 panel to control this. And this time we're going to show you a little feature uh, that I designed which I call Chroma Key Interlock. And what this does is it uses uh, just one media player. Here I'm actually going to be using media player 2 um, to switch automatically switch backgrounds to multi-camera chroma keys all using the one chroma key. And that will be shown here. We go to switcher you see here's the one and only chroma key on the TVS um, and we're going to be using media player number two uh, to uh, switch along with all the parameters of the chroma key on a input button on the ATM or on the GVG control panel now here we see the chroma key uh, light is flashing that indicates that we're in interlock mode and currently I've got the key on and on air and you can see here on a chroma key I'm using South Park characters as news readers uh, and you can see that let's come back a bit you can see they're keyed on top of a background now I'm using I've got four sources here I've got um, close up left of frame in a green screen close up right of frame and a blue screen and I'm just doing that just to show that you can use to totally different chroma key backgrounds on different cameras then I've got a two a two shot close up and I've got a two shot wide now these are on four separate buttons of the six input GVG uh, ATM control um, so I'm going to show you the end result first uh, I'm just going to be switching between uh, camera 1, camera 2, camera 3, which you've got the, the three South Park characters, and then um, I'm just going to use media player 1 for the fourth um, wide shot, two shot of the, um, of the two. So if I go, you'll see if I go to camera 1, there's our close up of um, the camera left girl. Uh, and you see the background is a, um, a close-up of what was in the wide shot. We go to cut to camera two, and uh, there's our right right side right hand um, talent, and the background has changed to suit his perspective. Then we're going to cut to camera three, and camera three has um, a two shot, and the two shot is um, uh, has a wider shot in the background, and each one of those cuts. Is actually using a separate. Um, oh, cut on camera there. It's using separate um, foregrounds, backgrounds, and all the key settings, all the masks, um, and any other buttons that are involved with the chroma key. And I'll just cut to um, the fourth camera, and there's our wide shot. And we cut back to the the closer two shot. And there's there's the individual cameras and of course we can um, we can then do a dissolve through to action and we can come back to our chroma key and keep doing our switching here now this is in this is in what I call chroma key interlock mode now I'll show you over here and uh, what you can see here is the actual chroma key control panel on the software and I'm just showing you at the top there media player 2 so as you can see when I do a switch you see that it's actually switching all the parameters including the media player 2's input you don't need to be using that you can you can use any background that you so desire and there um, there it is switching all the all the parameters it also switches the um, 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 the masks turns the mask on and off if you've got a chroma key that needs a mask um, and the, basically the way it works is it can, it, uh, when you're in chroma key interlock mode by that lead flashing 
it's using um, the program bus to actually cut the um, the fill source on the chroma keyer um, and then the actual key bus is then used to switch the um, the background of the chroma keyer so, so it so totally mixes everything around on the control but it gives you the end result uh, and, and that's um, that's basically it working and um, I've got a bit of cleaning up to do and um, I'm going to add a couple of extra features and eventually add it so you can control on a, a 2ME or a 1ME where you've got two keys. Uh, I'll be using the program rotor cut key 1 and the preview rotor cut key 2 so you can then be able to do dissolves between two totally set up chroma keys. And as, as I said it's all using the uh, media player you can see there I've got the media, all the media player uh, background sources all allocated to the um, foreground sources. Um, and there you go, that's it.